Hey yo Chubsters, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Jay Chubbs. Also go by Chubbs, and today I've got something a little different for you guys. Um, in all honesty, I needed to take a break from Moonstone Island. Um, just, you know, there's, there's not a lot going on with it right now. So we're kind of taking a break and we're trying something new. I was on Instagram last night and I came across a video and this video is by Riku Cat, I believe is how you pronounce their uh, their user R-I-K-U-K-A-T and they were telling a small little bit of um, about this game they are the developer of this game and yeah Potions A Curious Tale the demo is available right now on Steam and it is set to come out March 7th I believe a week from today is the planned release date so I figured, you know what, why not support a indie creator? Why not support game devs that do all of this work by themselves? Why not support them and just play demo? So that's what we're going to do today. I don't know how long this is going to take, but hopefully it is a good time all the same. So let's go ahead and click new game, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it says the game is Xbox controller supported, so hopefully I won't have any troubles there. Crash! Ah, is there voice acting? Deckhand. Okay. Are you alright down here? I think so. My head broke my fall. I think we've run aground. Take these potions of healing and stay below deck. Topside is no place for a young lass. That's the roar. That's a very loud growl. Use LB and RT to drink a potion of healing. Okay. Ah, oh, I got you. I got you. So we can. We have our hot bar. Use LS to move. I'm with you, I'm with you. Am I supposed to exit yet? I have no idea. Can I run? I don't know, can I go in here? But yeah, so, like I said, I don't know anything about this game other than there's a game dev who wants people to play it. Get back, Devilfish Sinbad, okay. Arr, get back, I don't know what Sinbad would sound like. Get back, Devilfish, I shall not have, I shall have your typical tongue from the man yawn like a slimy baby. What on earth is that thing? It's the Kraken. You should have stayed below deck, girl. Oh. Oh. This is sparkling. I better not stumble into these weapons. They look sharp. Give me a weapon! What just happened? Ow. Ah, oh, wonderful, dear girl. Talk to that beast to attack you. Our weapon reads a stroke of genius. Well done. That's what was happening? Oh. Right here, you fool. Right here. Eh. Fuck. Watch out for the oil. Don't let it catch fire. Well, how am I supposed to prevent that from happening? Can I get him to slap the oil and then slap the fire? I don't know what's happening. Hopefully you guys can hear and everything. Do you want do you want do you want some slimy oily? Yeah, he wants some slimy oily. We're gonna get some calamari tonight. Come on, boy. <laughs> burn, crack and burn. Ha, you're a marvel, my dear. Beast flees from you as if uh, from the ca Caliph's Armada. Yeah, dictionary. A young girl sends a terrible monster back to the depths. The bard shall sing of your great victory. I hardly call that a victory. Nonsense, we're not dead. The ship didn't sink. The sun above and the sea below. What more can a sailor ask for? But this is no time to celebrate. Full sail crew, onward to our destination. Praise to the Most High. We've arrived at last. The, old, the town of Old Haven. It's so hot in this room. What's going on? I know it doesn't look like much, but it's the only port on this side of the Wildlands. Attracts all manner of adventurers, treasure hunters, smugglers, and scoundrels. I wouldn't exactly call it a safe passage, but a deal is a deal. Here's the rest of your payment, Captain Sibet. Ah, but of course, the Arabelle always arrives safe and sound. That is, well, she's the first one, actually. What, you mean all your other boats have sunk? Why, yes, miss. Why do you think we charge so little for the fare? Find Granny's house. Are there any other goodies on board the ship? I have no goodies on board the ship. Sorry, so bad. I'm stealing mushrooms. Cat mushrooms. Don't know what they do yet. I has knuckle. All right. We got an Emily character. Excuse me. What happened to the ship? It was attacked by a huge sea monster just before we arrived. Not again. That kraken is attacking more ships than it did in the past. What brings you here anyway? Old Haven is in a very safe town. I'm here to study with my grandmother. Study. 
that voice. Starbuck! Yep, my grandmother is uh, this town's potion master, and I'm here to learn the trade. You? Learn the intricacies of one of the most complicated forms of magic? I doubt you'd even be able to grasp the basic concepts. You're just gonna get in her way when Old Haven needs her services dearly. Go back to your home to be coddled and let a more worthy person be here over there. <laughs> We're gonna learn how to make frappuccinos together. Who are you? Rosaline. I think you're really neat. I, I hope I have magic like you. Thanks. Cool. There's a box with stuff inside. Uh, I almost said thyme. Thyme and some other things. Can I open my inventory? I can. So we got cat mushrooms, thyme, mountain cherries, and blueberries. Yo. We making a smoothie. What would you rather have? A smoothie? A fruit smoothie? Or a pie? Hello. What's the deal with you? Mary, Mu Mary Muffet. Hi, I'm Mary. Are you Luna? My father said you were coming. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's going to be so wonderful to have another girl of my age here. Please accept this ivy as a symbol of our friendship. Also known as Bindwood and Lovestone, a bundle of ivy that can cause irritation. We got, I see symbols, elemental symbols. Is that supposed to be like fire, wind, purplish blue might be water, the green might be earth? I don't know what that top one is. Cool. Mountain cherries. Alright, let's go find Grandmama. Grandma. Would Grandma be at the end? I doubt it. Oi, where's my grandma? Innkeeper Corey. Poor Emily just hasn't been the same since her father fell ill. Well, why wouldn't she just make a potion that would fix him? Can I have that beverage, you know? There's a beverage on the table. I'm, I'm thirsty. I had to fight a kraken and all that calamari was so salty, dude. Good. We got some blueberries. Big booty bet. We're getting the blueberries for that smoothie thing. That pie smoothie. Can, can we not get in there? I thought you could just like snake. Oh, snake, snake, snake. Uh, you need to break the rug. Um. But yeah, like I said, I don't know anything about this game other than the fact that it's coming out soon and this is the demo. And it has something to do with potions. <laughs> That's about all I got. This must be the place. Grandma. What was sparkly over here? Okay, we got a gate. It says potion supplies. I'm in. Hello. Oh, I gotta figure out a grandma voice. Hmm. Hello, Luna, my dear. Welcome. How have you? My, how you grown? Nice to see you, Grandma. Brother. Please call me Granny. Everyone else around here does. Now I understand that you've shown some skill in the craft of potion brewing. That was suck. My grandma voice is not there. I wouldn't exactly call it skill. I was trying to make some brown dye to color the, a scruff in the door and it exploded. Exploded, you say? Yes, I blew the back porch right off the house. Mother was so mad at me. Wonderful, dear. You must have talent. Go on, tell me how you made this explosion. Well, there were some mushrooms around that were almost the right color of brown, so I ground them up. It was too light to match the door, so I added a bit of ash from the fireplace until the shade matched. And then? I didn't have a brush, so I found a feather to apply it, and bam! It blew up the second I touched it with the feather. Oh, a minor explosion potion. Marvelous, my dear. You do have the talent. Now go collect a mushroom ash and a feather. We're going to blow something up. You should be able to find ash and feathers at McDonald's Farm, and there should be plenty of mushrooms at the edge of the deep, dark forest. Off you go. Can I just use the ash from the fireplace here and wreak havoc on my own supply? Certainly not. Go search out these ingredients and come back when you've got them all. Okay, so we got a little bit of a menu here. If I hit... Oh, down. Whoops. May I help you? Can you please help me collect these herbs? Cap and I go close object around the heart. Oh. Thank you so much. Please keep them and put them to good use. Sure thing. Uh, we got bear skin. Good old bear skin. Give me that bear skin. For something. Don't ask why. Berries, cherries, and mushrooms. Um. You know, I'm not sure if we have an open map button yet. No. I do like, though, you can see that we got save, settings, feedback, all that good stuff. We, I wonder if we can blow that up later on. Like, we're gonna learn the explosion potion, so hopefully we can actually blow stuff up. 
I also don't know what playing the demo gives you, uh, whatchamacallit, like, when the game officially comes out, would you get access to, like, a save file, if you will. Um, oh, here we go. We do have a map. Okay, so Farm and Desert, Old Haven, Deep Dark Forest. Let's go to Farm and Desert first. To the farm. Cool. What are you? A little dust ball or something. And there's a feather. Let's go. Nice and feathers a gobbler. Why does he have a health bar? Are you telling me that big old gobbler is a is an enemy? Is he an enemy? Okay, so I know Granny just kind of told us. What? What? I might. Well, actually, this is this gobbler? The suppressively sized fowl has a bad attitude and prefers to keep to himself. While they are sometimes kept by farmers, they're usually found in the wild. Interesting. <gasps> Can we get ash here? There's a rat. <laughs> I thought I could get ash here. Oh, he ran to the fire. You're a fool. Hey, look, we got animal parts. I honestly thought that was ash, and it's not. This looks like an egg. You know what? I don't need to know what's past the, uh... I don't need to know what's past the, the red barrier of lasers. I thought it was an egg. I'm good, Chief. I'm good. That is an angry-looking bull. So let's not say we did. Can I look at a... Quest one by chance. New. That I mean that's that's okay. That's okay. I kind of forget <laughs> where they just said to go get ash from. I kind of forget. I don't think it's safe to go down there right now. Why not? I would love to go down there right now. Got another feather. Like we got plenty of feathers and we got mushrooms. Uh, but I thought it said go to the farm to get ash and feathers. So. What is this? A box. See, that's that's not it, Chief. That's not it. Can I go inside here? No. Doesn't look like it. It also said what? It said farm and desert, which is great, but... Ah, uh, man, maybe we should just go back to Grandma. Maybe she'll tell me. Grandmother, I have forgotten. I have forgotten the ways of... Ash Ketchum. Sounds like I said Ash Ketchum. I mean, we got you. I mean, the Deep Dark Forest, I swear, was mushrooms only. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to Grandmama. Since it's right here, Grandma. I don't remember. How good is the search, my dear? Can you remind me where to find the items? You should be able to find the ash and feathers at McDonald's farm. I was right. And the mushrooms at the edge of the Deep Dark Forest. Okay, so do I have to go past the thing? I don't want to go past the egg barrier thing. But watching that, watching that rat burn to death, I thought it was going to give us fire. <laughs> or I thought it was going to give us ashes, and it did not. So I'm guessing that guy will do damage to me. I'm guessing. Again, don't know how long the demo is. We're just going to play. Ooh, don't chase me. Don't chase me. Don't do it. You're gonna turn to ashes again if you do. Can I activate it from here? Oh, I can't. No, I can't. It's not gonna let me. The rat's gotta look at him funny. Wait. There we go. Hey, we got ash. Wait, that little dust bunny thing is the ash? That's ash? He disappeared. So you have to catch? I has a little bit of confusion. Let's try this again. I thought he was going to be the enemy, so I tried not to interact with him. Where are you? I know he's down here somewhere. Oh, come on. There was one over here before, right? There he is. Come here. Yeah, that's Ash. Okay. Cool. We'll take it. We have all of the ingredients for our portion. I'll take one more for the road. One more for the road, Ward. I'm 
back to old Haven. This map looks really cool though. I like the art style. Also, that cactus is very cool. Thick cactus. Ah, you've gathered all the ingredients. Perfect. Let me show you how to craft them. This is where you can craft potions by combining ingredients. All potions take three ingredients to craft. Some will require specific ingredients, while others may only require mana combinations. Each ingredient has a mana value. The feather you gathered, for example, contributes one air mana. Now let's craft that minor explosion potion. This potion is in rare in that it uses three types of mana. Most potions are crafted with only two different mana types. Combine mushroom with ash and a feather. Cool. Does it matter the order? Minor explosion potion. Wonderful, dear. Your very first potion. Technically, it's my second, but you know. You can review the recipe for it in the recipe book by pressing Y, and you can craft as many times as you have ingredients for. Though you made this with mushroom ash and feather, you can make it with other ingredients of the same element, too. Be sure to look for ingredients with different mana values in your explorations. Those rare, higher mana ingredients can make potions that really pack a punch. Remember, though, you can only carry 10 vials of each potion in your satchel at a time. Cool. I wonder if I could use the animal parts with something. I, I don't know what. Oh. And a feather. Craft. I know it said it'll use this too. Minor dust devil potion. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool, very nice. Fruit, fruit, mushrooms. Craft. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but minor cone. <laughs> what is that? Uh, yes. Now that you know how to craft, you're welcome to use my cauldron to brew any potion you like. Just select the cauldron to start crafting. Speaking of which, would you please pay a visit to Callum at the farm? I fear I lost my stone of recall when I was looking into his dry well. Be sure to take some minor explosion potions with you. Callum has a nasty rat problem in there. Aggressive things even stole papers from my bags. Uh, here you can change your equip potions. Cool. Uh, minor explosion potions go there. Blast the area with sticky- oh, it actually is! Okay, whirl f whirling funnel of blinding dust. Hope you have goggles. Iron hole. Give them a dirty look. Okay. So it's just slot one. That's fine. That's fine. I see you've collected a good amount of potion ingredients. Let's so store them for safekeeping. I'll store your ingredients whenever you return home. You wouldn't want to lose them if you were to fall trouble in your adventures. So if you want to save your items, then you talk to Granny and then you do the thing. Okay, so I'm going to make a second... Uh, explosion potion here, just so we have. I mean, they did say a lot. Maybe I should just make like. Well, I can only make one more anyway. Let's just make as many as we have available. My explosion potion, nice. Yes, you can put those. Cool. So I want to use the first one to blow up the rock. I don't know if that's gonna work. There was a, a big boulder over here. Yeah, can I blow this up? It could shatter easily. How do I use the potion? Just the question. Cut you out. Let's go. Big brain. And look at that. More ash for more wolf. What is this? Fenrir, a huge violent wolf that the Norse gods chained to a boulder. When it escapes, it's the end of the world. Do not let the dog Don't let the dog out. Ooh. That's dangerous, but. This looks like a blacksmith's place, potentially. I wonder how important those cards might be. Who knows? I certainly don't. My leg is so itchy. My leg is so itchy. Alright. We need to go back to the farm. I mean, so far, I have been playing for probably, uh, let's say, 19-ish minutes to give myself the, uh, um give myself a few minutes for like the intro. I've been playing for about 20 minutes, so like it's a decently lengthy demo so far. Could that rat have stolen Granny Stone to recall? Select the potion on the potion bar you wish to use by pressing LB and RB and then press RT to release the throw potion along the previous path. You, okay, LT to cancel. And I hurt myself. But we got the stone to recall. Luna's a good name. What? Oh, that was very big. 
I can use Granny Stone Recall to get back home using up oh, on the G pad. I don't want to go home yet. Yeah. Always make sure you secure your surroundings before you go. Oh, that's a cool little effect. I like that. Prince Charmin, you have. You may have the proper permits, but I'll monitor your use of this vile sorcery. Yes, yes, I'll do the whack home, my dear. Well, how did she get in here? This trickery is. What trickery is this witch? Oh, splendid, you found my stone of recall. Is she a maid to be using such devilry? I'll have you know. This stone will return you to my home from whenever you may travel. Are you even listening to me? I have a thought to hear. My deepest apologies for neglecting your tantrum, my prince. Loda has seen her twelfth cycle of the season, so she is of age to use these trinkets and study potion brewing herself. Shall I brew a mood enhancer for you? You seem quite troubled. No, I want none of it. Door slams as Prince Tommy exits. The prince has adapted his interesting approach for his stay in old haven. I read that sentence weird, but don't worry about it. Who is he? He's Prince Charming, the youngest prince of the royal family, no matter. How was recovering the Stone of Recall? I had to fight a rat down the well to get it. Good job, my dear. While we work to save lives, conflict is sometimes unavoidable, or even necessary. It is? Do you think toad eyes grow on trees? I fear not. But you'll find much benefit in only killing for what you need to, as force is often met with force. Many things can be gained with other methods of approach. Here, let me enter this recipe for a minor potion of healing in your recipe book to heal you in any future encounters. Cool. Your recipe book can be found in the bottom right corner of the crafting scene. A lot of voice acting did it. I didn't play it on this episode until like 30 minutes ago. My voice is not me. Your recipe book can be found in the bottom right corner of the crafting scene. Here you can reveal... <laughs> See? <coughs> Hail. Here you can reveal all the recipes you've learned. You'll find your knowledge of them may allow you to create them with different sets of ingredients. Like the minor explosion potion, this minor potion of healing uses three types of mana. Most potions use only use two. If you select the ingredients for a potion recorded in your recipe book, you'll be able to craft multiple copies of the potion at once by increasing the multi-craft number to the right of the selected ingredients. <sighs> now, my dear, practice your brewing by crafting two minor potions of healing, delivering one to the inn and the other to the huntsman. Here are the ingredients for them. Craft two minor potions of healing. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Where did that just go? Um, has a warm, comforting taste of broth-based soup. Pin the recipe. What? It's one blue, one green, one yellow. Oh, we're gonna say. So this is one red, so we don't use that. One. These are both the same thing. So let's just use cherries. Oh, well, I guess it's tab. So I guess you can just use any ingredient here. That's fine. Let's use thyme. And let's just use a feather. And we'll craft two. Minor potion of healing. Beautiful. Uh, would you like to equip these potions? Um, I don't know if they need to be equipped in order to um, deliver them. We'll find out. Oh, I see you've been collecting magical cards. You can use them to unlock magical doors. With one bronze card, you can unlock the magical door to the back of, uh, of our home. And don't fear, they won't disappear. What is this? Magical card. So the only one we have is Fenrir, which is number 27 out of 56, I'm guessing. And it's a silver, so there you go. If you follow along this demo, you too can have a silver right out the gate. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to just cancel, just cancel. Okay, it worked. It worked. Um, deliver to the inn, which is down here by where we disengaged from our boat with Sinbad. Kick in the door. I brought a minor potion of healing for you. Thank you. Tell your grandmother that I'll send payment later. I must attend to this awful prince right now. More mulberry wine. More mulberry wine. Say that like five times fast. Being around so much magic is in filled is utterly disgusting. Okay, Prince Charming. Sinbad, who knows when my ship will be repaired? At least the sin is in the worst place the best time. Cool. Alright, peace out. Where would the Huntsman be? Are you the Huntsman? I think nighttime is dark, so you can imagine your fears with less distraction. What? Blueberries. 
My favorite kind of berries. Cherries are also good, but blueberries are blue. Oh, this must be the Huntsman. That was a weird sound. Uh, hello, it's you. What do you want? That's an easy voice to do. I've come to deliver a potion for the Huntsman. So you're paying the errand girl- Oh, you're playing, excuse me. So you're playing the errand girl now. Did Granny figure out you have, like, no talent at all? Can you even make a caramel macchiato? <laughs> I brewed this minor potion of healing myself. Just give it to me. I expect proper compensation if it makes my father even more ill. Can I come in? No. I can't even come in for a cup of tea. The audacity. Granny, I did it. Welcome home, my dear. Did you deliver the potions? Yes, I delivered both of them. The innkeeper said he would send payment later. He's dealing with Prince Charming. That obnoxious hothead is harassing other people, is he? Let me add a water bomb recipe to your recipe book. You can use it to cool hotheads like him. Oh, it's three blue, three water. I feel much better about your adventures knowing you can brew your own minor potions of healing for use in the field. I'll always heal you heal you to full health when you get home, though. You shouldn't feel limited by your recipes, though. Most combinations of ingredients with two types of matter will create potions, so feel free to experiment. Your next task is quite beyond our brewing abilities, however, for there is another item which every witch should carry. You'll need to visit my elder sister in the deep dark forest. She won't be difficult to find. Just look for the hutch perched atop a pair of chicken legs. A hut on chicken legs? Like Moonstone Island, but I won't say anything. <sighs> it's just a coincidence, because in Moonstone Island you have Waldo who has the same house with chicken feet. <laughs> Uh, small world. Anyway, that's the one. Take this handkerchief. I wrapped it up a bit. Of, I wrapped up a bit of ham and a slice of bread for you. A little snack to keep your feet light on the journey. All right, we got a water bomb. Should we make a water bomb? Boom, boom, and boom. And I will make two of them. Okay, cool. Um, what if we did three wind? Minor wind bomb. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's equip him. Why not? We gotta make sure we can attack. Find hut on chicken legs. Enter the hut on chicken legs. And I think we can go up here. I don't have a bro oh. Oh, we don't have bronze cards. We have a silver card. Which we don't have enough. Actually, we should just go this way because that's how you exit the village. But yeah. I don't know if this episode, this demo, is going to be 30 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes. I have no clue. But well, let's go to the deep dark forest, and we will look around. So yeah, I mean, so far, I'm finding this game cool. I'm not, um, you know, I know there's more to this game from watching the trailer before I've downloaded the demo, so it's like I'm ready to see those, um, not improvements, I'm ready to see, like, some of the stuff that the trailer showed off. I just don't know if the demo will go that far. Oh, is that a bronze card? <gasps> a bronze card! <gasps> oh yes, the barrier is down. But yeah, I know this game is like potion brewing, puzzle solving. Um, so it's a little bit of a change of pace from what we have done on the channel, so let me know what you guys think. I think it's a nice change of pace. I was getting a very um not bored, but you know, it's like a lot of the games I play are monster racing games, and it was just kind of like I wanted to switch it up. So, this is a nice change of pace for me. The Basilisk. Such venom in a small package. The Basilisk, Basilisk is hatched from a rooster's egg. It looks like a rooster with a serpent's tail, its gaze, bite, breath, and hiss are all fatal. Cool. Is there going to be a card game in this game? Is there like collect all the cards, battle with the cards? Because it's pretty fun when you have that, like a mini game within the main game. Uh, the last game that I played that had that was Sea of Stars with like the the chess type game. It wasn't chess; it was you know different, uh, but it was really cool. Also, I probably can't cross the ravine, but there is another card. I don't think I'm going to get it right now. Sead. I don't know what that sound was. The ivy. We got time. Well, you can just come to the woods and get everything you want. This is lit. 
I love running around the woods. What was that? And shooting a uh, water. Oh, hello. Not my shoulder attacking. Water bomb. All right, I have to line that shot up better. So I'm taking tiny bits of damage for that. Hey, oh, you have to five silver to even go in there. Okay. Okay, so some of the, like, hard-to-find areas are gonna be, um, you know, minor exploded. Let's go. Yeah, you guys, you can escape, but you can't escape. Oh, that looks like spider webs. Oh, I guess we're going in. I don't know if I'm supposed to be in the Twisted Woods or not. I don't know. You know what, I'm going to keep looking around the main area first, just because I don't know if we're supposed to be in the Twisted Woods. Yet. Oh, hello. Can you just farm resources by leaving and coming back? I have no idea. Oh no, this is where we just were, right? Oh, maybe not. Hold on. I don't see the ravine. Oh. Oh. I need another potion of, of uh, blow up. Alright, I guess I'm gonna teleport back home to make another potion. Do I even have- I think I do have a, enough ash now. I need to make like five potions. Crafting. What was it? Boom. And... was it mushroom? And then it was feather. Yeah, I'm gonna make five of them. Yes. Okay. Yes. That should be enough. Back to town. Rinse and repeat. Let's go. Rinse and repeat. So we're going to find the hut on chicken legs. We're going to enter the hut on chicken legs. Oh, you can fast travel to the, the next level. So let's fast travel to the Twisted Woods. And then I'll just exit the Twisted Woods. And we should be right back to where we were. That's pretty convenient. I appreciate that. That's pretty nice. Uh, but I'm Alright, down the stairs we go, into the dark depths we go. Ooh, what do we got? There's a door, there's a door, there's a door. Do I need to put... What is this? Oh, it's changing the symbol? So what, you need three blue or something? What's the... there's a symbol for blue. Do you need three blue? I would assume since the... yeah, yeah, that turned off one of them. Oh, we can make potions down here. What a coinky dink. What a coinky dink. We can refill the satchel and we can make more potions. That's something. Ain't that just shump? We got cap mushrooms, we got ivy. Okay, so what about this side? Oh, the symbol's on the totem. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. So we just need to get fire. And now it's gone too. Yeah, the symbol's right here on the on the thing. So And we I clicked that too fast, my bet. But it's another bronze card, so you know. So that's all there was in there. Okay, that's fine. Uh you know what guys? Give me just a second. I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back. There. Okay, we're back. Cool, cool. What is that noise? Is that that? Okay, he got slowed down, but like, what does that do for me? Oh, okay, water bomb. Okay, the water bomb worked. Cool. I like this ability to um, to be able to, to fight with potions, I think that's cool. Because usually in potion games, like, you just, you make the potions and, like, use the potions to help people. You're not really, you're not really, uh, fighting with potions. So, this is a cool change of pace. And again, art style. Fantastic. I love it. Ah, uh, what's the deal with this one? That's really far away. Oh, there was a character down there. Can I sneak through there? No. Interessante.
Okay, there we go. Well, at least that little dude's not an enemy. I'm okay with that. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. So. Alright. Where did that person go? Not this far to the left, I can tell you that much. Oh, we got another crop thing here. I mean, we're getting tons of resources, which is phenomenal for us, but not really what I want to find right now. I just want to find the chicken hut on legs. Can I get a large chicken hut on legs, please? Was the person down here? Oh, sugar snap peas and hand basket. Why are you chasing me? 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 What is this? A dust devil potion? Okay, well that wow. That what what is this? A mushroom spore is interesting and interesting. Wind bomb explosion. We only have one wind bomb left, so I gotta be buried with these. I think we got them. Oh, I think we got them. Another one. Can I keep walking while I throw this down? So I do have to hurt myself a little bit. In the explosions. Well, the person's got to be right down here, right? Hello. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you in just a second. Baby. I'm just. I'm gonna do this. Since you didn't see it, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Fire. Okay. Hold on. What? Excuse me, miss. Were you trapped in here? I don't even know how to pronounce that name. No miss here. Oh. No miss here. And trapped. Trapped? No, I don't believe I was trapped. Well, if you'd like a place to rest, Old Haven isn't too far from here. Rest? Hmm. Yes, a rest from, uh, rest from my research. A new environment for my research. Marvelous. I shall venture there. Funny little thing. Interessante. Alright. Let's keep going. I guess we're gonna hit this one now, which turns that off. Okay. So what about this one? Is this a puzzle of sorts? Because that that turned the barrier back on. I don't know why it would be off. Like, why would you want to turn it back off or on? Whatever, you know what I mean. And we still haven't seen the, the strange hut. It's a cat. The ragged cat stares over you imploringly, its ribs almost visible through its matted fur. Give your cat, give the cat your chunk of ham. Yes. The cat purrs deeply as it eagerly devours the chunk of ham. <laughs> it talks. Um, I don't even know what voice to give this cat. Uh, thank you, miss. Hunger truly is the best spice. That hit the spot perfectly. Y you can talk? And it's rather surprising, I admit. Some say it's my most unfortunate skill. My name is Helios, and what brings you this deep to the forest, young one? I was sent to ask a favor from the woman that lives here. You're either very bold or awfully foolish, but as one good turn deserves another, I shall accompany you. Turn around and bow low, bother so much. The old crone has a visitor. Oh, this is the hut on chicken legs. Hmm. She never oils the poor gate. The gate squeaks and groans before sticking on its hinges. Uh, what up? <laughs> no, Helios, I didn't mean to hit you. Okay, I did nothing. So what, I gotta make a potion to open the door? Well, Helios is cool. Is, is there is there a cauldron around here somewhere? Is there... Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Blow up the rock. Get the can of oil. Oil the squeaky gate. There you go. And there is a potion thing over here. So you can make more potions if you want. But I imagine this is going to be close to the, the end of the demo. Serve it. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you okay? What's wrong? I... <laughs> Come for the servant or ask where the homeowner is. I'm gonna ask. Because I feel like this is the the someone in disguise, is my guess. Ask. Pardon, but is your master at home? I was sent here to request for help. 
I love seeing the master to style. Come for the server to ask. Eh. I'll come for it. There, there, it can't be so bad. Here, take my handkerchief. So, oh, Baba Yaga, dude. I saw Baba Yaga in Fortnite. Thank you ever so much, sweet thing. It's rare for a kind sort of venture into my domain. That's almost a better granny voice. Who, who are you? Are you my grandmother's sister? I am called many things, but you may call me Baba Yaga, sister to all of them tonight. Pleased to meet you, Baba Yaga. My name is Luna. I was told you could help me craft an item of great power. I know who you are and what you seek, but my aid is never freely given. I shall provide you my broom, but I will need the materials to craft another. Thus, I have a task for you. A broom for cleaning? No, you silly girl for flying. After I grant this boon to thee, you must gather items three. First, a branch of willow bring deepest shadow brighter spring. Golden straw must next be one, the kind by fickle goblin spun. Then find dust from fairy's wings from Pixel's magic mushroom rings. What? Once these establishments have you have gathered, return to me and hear my answer. For of these forces you can tame, or which is bounty you shall claim. A flying brew would be very helpful. I'll gather these materials for you and replace it. Thank you. Toggle flying by X. Careful though, it's easy to get knocked off. Baba Yaga's hut. Wow, we're still gonna keep going. Okay, gather golden straw near the farm. Gather a willow branch near in the tundra. Gather. Oh, oh that's how we cross ravines, dude. Check this out. Deja vu. <laughs> I've been riding this plane before. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Wait, where would the fairy forest be? Is that through the twisted forest and into the fairy forest? Because I don't want to pass up the fairy forest if it's like right here. If it's right here. House of Sticks. There's a chicken. Fairy forest. That's not... I don't know what that is. I don't know what the... Oh, that's a mushroom. Huh? Evil mushroom man. I want the ivy though. Hey, let me fly. That is a silk weaver. Eep. You missed. <laughs> I'm actually stuck. Okay, there we go. Gotta go fast. I probably shouldn't be doing this. It sounds and feels very reckless, but... Unless the fairy forest is elsewhere. Genuinely, don't know. I'm seeing spiders that shoot poison. I'm seeing baby spiders. Chris? Okay, so there's one thing then that I would like to do, which is to fly back. Fly back to where we first saw, like, the there was like a ravine with a card on the other side. That's where I want to go first. I think, hello. What's the deal with this house? It says no wolves on the front or something. Interesting. Right go this way. Uh, Zakum fruit? Zakum fruit? The food of sinners. The food of sinners. Don't know what that means. Hey, we can go down here. Wait, have we been here before? No, I guess not. Well, this is a very simplistic place. The Golden Hind. Faster than the speed and arrow, the Golden Hind, a massive doe with golden antlers, is one of Artemis's pets. Hercules captured it, but then allowed it to escape, thus avoiding Artemis's wrath while fulfilling his third quest. Interesting. Cool. Uh, let's make some more potions real quick, because we're going to need them. Um, what was it? Boom, and then... Boom, and then boom. And we're going to make six of them. Cool. Can I make another water bomb potion? Oh, that's not it. That's blue dye. That's just straight up blue dye. What was... I thought the water potion was three blue items. Yeah, minor water bomb. Let's make... Sure, I'll make three. That's fine. Cool, cool. Um, and then we're good to go. We got some more potions we can fight with. Be booty bit. Deja vu. Helios is a cool name for a cat. Helios. That's pretty dope. I guess I could tell you guys my stomach. 
My stomach is not happy right now. I don't know what I ate, but my stomach is not happy. I feel deflated. Is it over here? I thought, nope, this is where Mayor was. Looking for the thing to fly across to get a card. It's right here, it's right here, it's right here, right here. Meow. Do I go up here? No, we cannot float up there. Hey, more berries. We do kind of need blueberries, dude. We do kind of need blueberries. I love that we have the broom, though. This is fantabulous. We're zooming. We're zooming. Okay. We get the card back here, and then hopefully... Oh, this is just the entrance. Was there a card in the entrance area? That's the first thing. That was that thing. Was it down here? Yeah, look at that. Uh, Zaishi? Is that how you pronounce that? Zaishi? A dragon goat hybrid with a single horn, the Zaishi seeks justice and can tell who is telling the truth and who is lying. It destroys the wicked by biting or goring them. Beautiful. Maybe it's Z. Zishi? Zichi? Zichi? Zishi? I don't know pronounce it. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know. Somehow, let me know. Okay, so now we do have the fairy forest and we do have the tundra. Cool. Uh, we have to go to the farm too. So let's just go to the farm first, or right here anyway. Doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, you know, I'm actually not sure how. Or, oh, the bull seems like a friendly. Maybe? Hey, he's just chilling. My boy's just chilling. We zoom over here and deactivate this, and then like I'm not. It says gather a golden straw near the near the farm. Yo, where's golden straw? Farmhand, that bull just won't leave me alone. It charges right at me any time I go near it. Maybe it's your red shirt. I thought they were coming by. Fantasies tend to lead into tropes like that. Fantasy. As you say, you fantasies. So what, are we supposed to help this dude, like, move the pool or something? I don't think that's the game, but you never know. Oh, we can fly over these little gaps now. Where are we going now? The wheat fields, yo! Can I get the apples down from the trees? Is that kind of lit? What is, what is this? Feathers. I wish you could take the chest with you or something. That'd be kind of cool. We got some mushrooms. It's super windy today, so do you guys hear the window like yeah. no that's yeah. That's that's my impression of the window when it's What was that? I don't I don't know why it releases a purple I have no idea what that is. I also don't know where this stuff is. So you're already going to a different area. This is near the farm, Apple River. Am I missing something here? Cattle McDonald. It's a fine in my day to pick some apples. If you say so. It's really dry. Definitely a fire hazard. Okay, nice. I'd have to make a potion of fire for a card. But I'm guessing like if I was supposed to get apples, then I would come here. I don't eat apples, though. I need... Do I just, do I need a potion to, like, blow up a hay bale or something? This golden straw says wheat to me. What is that? Amber, specks from the past go inside. Cool. Cool. Golden, a golden straw has to be wheat. Like, it just has to be wheat fields. It has to be wheat. Like, no shot that it's not. But it doesn't look like the stuff's interactable, you know? So I'm a little confused. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh wait, this guy. Okay, 
get to him in just a minute. I need to use the bathroom again. Sorry. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, my word. I'm oh, sorry. I'm going through it today. <laughs> I'm going through it today. Oh, my word. My tummy's not happy. Nothing wrong with the devil. My stomach is just not having something today. I ate so much and I ate. Uh, every every time I leave to go bathroom, I'm going to come back more tired. I don't need a nap after this. But anyway, we'll press on. Uh, let's see here. What what voice would I give this guy? Um, can I help you? Maybe? Hello? First of all. Oh, there we go. We didn't have one. Oh, excuse me. I just need some of this straw. And you wish me to spin it into gold for you, yes? Oh, is he, is he like a Lucky Charm type guy? A leprechaun? Oh, no, sir. Just the straw is all I need. Why don't you get us? Still no favor without the price. I can't do the accent. Your firstborn son sound fair? What the deuce? You want my firstborn son for straw? That's absurd. Fine, fine. I'll give you the straw if you can guess my name. Your name, uh, Tom Riddle? Nope. Discover the imp's name in the Twisted Woods. Um, imps are notorious for singing their own praises in private. If we find where he celebrates, we might discover his name. Where do imps like to celebrate? Oh, they generally seem to set up camp in the remote part of a forest. I th might have seen something of the sort in the Twisted Woods. Okay. So we're going on a little bit of an extended fetch quest, which is fine. We're going to use the medallion thing to fast travel back home. Back to Grandmama, we'll turn in all those items. And then... Uh, I think we'll just head right back out. And, oh, what are you doing here? This won't do. This really won't do. What's wrong, Nair? I just really need a heartbeat talent for my experiments. Could you please get one for me? And, we've got lots of quests. See, now we can use the car to unlock the, this area. Lots of exploration. Another puzzle to, oh, what was the blue gelatinous thing? Did you guys see that? <gasps> it's a book. I don't know what to do. Okay, so you have to have three gold, five gold, one. Do I have a gold? I don't have a gold card. Man, I got excited for nothing. I got all excited for Also, I'm not centered. Wait. Wait. There we go. I'm centered. Whoa, those are pretty. Okay, let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. Alright, we'll go back to the deep dark forest eventually. Let's go check out the tundra. The great willow tree. Chong air? Chong Chong? Excuse me, miss. I need your assistance. What is it? Could you take this package to the willow tree just up the path? My form won't allow me to carry it myself. Mom, we don't have time to run errands for ghosts. Gilio, stop it. I'd be happy to assist you. Sure. Proceed with caution, miss. Many creatures in this tundra find those offerings tempting. Okay. Why am I here? Gather a will. Oh, we gotta go to the tree anyway. Oh, that's another. Oh, I didn't even pick. That blows up. Ooh, you can. Do we gotta burn it? Where is the willow tree? Can I can I walk up here? No, how would I How would I get up there? An ice hog! What a guy. What a guy this ice hog. What a dude. Hmm. So the puzzle isn't Oh, there's the willow tree, I'm guessing. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Offering. I I was gonna place the offering. Can I do it here? Isn't this the willow tree? How about the rock? I don't wanna blow it up. I don't wanna blow nothing up, but I'll try. It didn't work. Do I need to access my inventory? Oh, I still hit up on the D-pad. No. Well, we got a lunch. <laughs> we got a meal to go. 
Man, all right, hold on. Let me craft a potion. Let me craft a potion. We got some water crystals. Did I need red, blue, and green? Or is it red, blue, and yellow? I forget. Nope. It was this. Okay, let's make five, five more. Sure. I kind of want a fire potion, but I know that could be a little tricky, so. Gather a harpy talon, follow Chong Air to the. I have to follow him to the willow tree? Well, that explains why it didn't work the first time. That explains why it didn't work the first time. I kind of just bailed on him and just went for it. Alright, let's follow Chong Air. Where is he? Alright, let's go, bro. Is he gonna take us on a dangerous path? He actually flies pretty quick, I gotta say. Any ways for us, dude? What a great companion. Oh, look, are we going. <laughs> they shoot at you, man. That's nasty. We've made it. Set down the off on this walk here. She's it, Sui. An offer. Forgive me, old friend. You gave me your own flesh to save my life, and I repaid you by trying to force you into life at the world court. A life that you had never wished for. Duke Wen of Jin, I did not expect such an honored visitor. Please just call me Chong Air, darling, dear friends. Forgive me for setting fire to this area and to try to coerce you into accepting the role. Accept this offering of food and never touch my flame. No need to ask for forgiveness. You only wish to repay me for my services to you. My foolishness cost you and your mother your lives. The past is in the past. We have both we had both lived long. Be at rest, Chong Air. Interesting. And we got a willow branch for doing that quest. So there you go. I don't know where we're supposed to get a harpy talent. Oh, you are a harpy. Okay. Oh, okay. One more. Look at that. Nice and harpy talons. Harpy feathers, too. Who knows? That might be like a higher class ingredient. Where's the egg? Last time we were here, there was an egg. I want some bread. We got a hedgehog. We got stuff. Oh, there's another harpy. Uh, I don't want to fight every single harpy in the game right now. So, how about we just teleport out? See ya. I've been recording for almost an hour, so like, this is a long demo! Gotta say, this is a pretty hefty demo. I clicked up again by accident. Alright, let's give you the Harpy Talent. Here you are! What? Oh yes, the Talent. Lovely, lovely. This will do. Here, take this. Greater Ice Potion. Freezes things so hard that a tap will shatter them. Oh, thanks. I will take it. Discover the Imp's name in the Twisted Woods. Gather Fairy Dust. Let's go ahead and get that Fairy Dust. Hey, listen. To what? Nothing, just felt compelled. Nothing, just felt compelled. That's his voice. He's gotta have like a softer, cooler, more composed voice. Blue Felicia! That's not fair, he does. Yeah, I'll dart from him. How dare. Oh, I'm poisoned? Oh, no. How dare. Alright, come on, jump. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. The fairy forest seems cool though. Uh, this is what? Ah, it hit me! Where am I to get any boost? Who needs help? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, do you need help? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is water. That's blue dye. Water ball. Oh, it's a tanuki! Oh, that was hot! Thank you for saving me! Are you okay? Don't transform into something you can't play the part. Don't be so catty, feline. It was simple misunderstanding. A merchant was giving me a free lift, thinking me one of his goods when I fell asleep. I didn't awake until someone tried to cook with me. Look at those potion bottles. You must be a potion master. Let me share my recipe for a minor cone of vine. This potion is a mix. Oh, a cone of greenery knocks enemies back. 
cool, 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 cool. I, I was actually in the market for some fairy dust. If you had that line, oh, this is the way to go. The shining woods. Can I get fairy dust in here? Can I get some fairy dust in here? I don't even know what fairy dust looks like. Is it pink? Is it purple? Is it blue? Is it green? Is it red? Is it all the colors? Is it white? Who knows? It's okay. I do really like having the uh, the ability. Oh, hello! Even more fire. It's fine. I got water bombs. I've got it. So some of these things, like you, basically need to have enough potions. Like you've got to be ready. What is this? Charu? Oh, I like this card. He looks dope. A humanoid monster composed of rocks and lava. The Sharoof lives in, Chil in the Chilean Mount Chilean? Chilean volcanoes. It will cause massive destruction unless it receives human sacrifices. He's cool looking though. He's pretty dope. Okay. Gotta find a thing. Is that fair? Don't jump on me, Mr. Frog. You try. You try to jump on me. So, I mean, for the demo, like, this is pretty chill. Like, you don't have to do a lot of fighting. I kind of thought Helios was going to help me fight. Or maybe not. Maybe that's a something else. Uh, let's just dodge and dodge and dodge. Okay, we got, we got some saw blades coming in hot. Oh, I clicked it too quick. My bad. Alright, we'll look at all the cards later, but that was a pretty chill way to get a card. Swerve. 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 I kind of want to make... Ooh, we got an amphibian eye. An eye. For an eye. Makes a world What if we do three wind? A minor rock bomb. Cool. Wait, so yellow is... No, wait, what did I just do? I did three wind, 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 I thought. Did I do three feathers? That would be earth. This is wind. Well, I can do Well. Did I make more? No, that's blue dye. I don't, want, I don't want a blue dye right now. I want a minor water bomb, and I can make... I'll make three of them. And then what if we did, like... Is that a fireball? A cone of fire. Yeah. I didn't mean to throw a potion. Was that my water? No, that was. Oh, that was the blue dye. We don't care about the blue dye. We're fine. It's fine. We're not worried about that one. Okay, so we still need to figure out where the fluff, this fatty dust, is. I don't know if we need to go like super deep into a fairy forest. Like, how how deep must we go to find? the thing that we're looking for. <gasps> it's a fairy. What brings you to our woods, young lady? I came to gather some fairy dust. Ah, oh, you're a magic practitioner. Perfect. We need your assistance in a small task here, and we'll happily provide you some fairy dust for payment. I wouldn't make a deal with a fairy. Let's just swat her down and pull her wings off. Helios. <laughs> I like Helios. I think your companion is a bit too close to his feline roots. I know, bird to be hunted and devoured. I promise you'll get your dust if you help us. What do you need? There's some old ruins up ahead that we hope to open to help a friend. We've activated part of it, but have yet to unlock the rest. The seal on the pillars seem to lead, need elemental magic to unlock it. I guess I can take a look at it. Cool. So they said the ruins up ahead. Is that up here? I wonder... Do I have ten? Uh, it's fine. Oh, maybe it's up here. Use elemental magic to activate the ruins. But what if I don't have any? Oh yeah, this is definitely the ruins. Oh. Am I supposed to use a cone of fire? Oh, it kind of highlights what you can interact with. And we got water crystals, yay! So what's what's the whole point of this then? I'm confused. Oh, we got more ruins here. 
Okay, okay. Oh, these... Interesting, interesting. Oh, that activates that. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. This is a, a puzzle. I can under... So, what if I... Because I have a water potion here. What if I hit this with a water potion? It activated it. Now, what does this do, though? Oh, okay. So, that's been activated. So, there should be one more up here? But, obviously, I don't know how to access it. Um, but there is one more around. Somewhere. So how how to get? How to go get? Well, it's not here. I can tell you that much. Uh, we got some some of that. That probably is what you open. Okay, we're getting close. The fire one. Okay, it's up here. It's up here. It's up here. Um. Is this mud? That's rock. It might work. Yay. Yay. Let's go. What? What was that? Nothing good, I'm sure. Oh, uh, what the? You did it. Here's the fairy dust as promised. What exactly did we do? Help us. Thanks. Bye. Fairies are being sauce. The fairies are being sauce over here. Alright, let's teleport back. I honestly thought the demo was also going to end right there. Boy, you know. I keep thinking the demo's going to end, and then it just doesn't, so. Alright, so we got Golden Hind. Tidalic. Tidalic. The Tidalic is a giant frog that once drank up all the world's fresh water. When the eel Nabunum made him laugh, he vomited the water, causing a cataclysmic flood. Nishipishu? Quite a name. This water monster has a lynx's face and copper horns. Fisher folk must ask permission before harvesting fish from its lake. That should be the new ones. Goodness, I've been playing an hour. I even paused the recording when I had to stop and take a bathroom break. So it's literally like been an hour and like five minutes. This is a demo in a half. Let me tell you what, it's a demo in a half. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the deep dark forest and we will go to... I don't think Baba Yaga's hut. Let's go to the House of Sticks. Maybe that'll give me some information. You know, because we're trying to find, discover the imp's name in the Twisted Woods. Oh. Well, we gotta figure out who's got the info. This mushroom is relentless. Give me a break. <laughs> Why did that not do damage to him? You filthy silk weaver. I'm running out of potions. Is this burnable? It is, but I only have minor water bombs. That's not enough to make fire. Was there a place to make... Where does this go? Or if you heard that bump. Oh, now we're in the spider's den. That's, yeah, that's exactly where I want to be. The spider's den. That sounds great. What is this? More... I didn't get slowed down that much. I don't know where we're supposed to go, obviously, to find the, the answers to my questions about the dude. Eat this egg. Oh, we can fly over here, which I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I'm guessing I can not survive this encounter if I'm not careful. Oh, this looks like something. Man, I need fire potions for days. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back home, make like 20 fire potions, and then we're gonna go for it. Because we need frill. Can I even make a lot of fire potions right now? Hold on, where's my recipe book? Yeah, why for the recipe book? Fire potions. Minor 
What is going on? Someone's been getting worked One yellow, red, green. I'm just gonna remember that. Yellow. Uh, let's see, red, green. So let's do. Oh, wait a minute. Yellow. Is that? Whatever. It's fine. We got it. Uh, new. I don't want 25. Let's just make like 10 of them, and then we're done. Yes. I should probably make some minor healing as well. Where is that at? Elemental is blue dye. Potion of healing. Yellow, blue, green. Okay. Uh, we can go with yellow, blue, green, and we'll make like five of them. Just in case, you never know. Just in case. To the tower. Okay. Alright, so now that we got fire, we should be able to go do what we need to do. They said go to the Dark Force, right? I'm actually gonna go back to the entrance just to check. Because, like, if Helios knew about the whereabouts of the thing, then maybe we don't have to go, like, maybe it's right in here. Maybe he's just chilling in here. Maybe my boy's been chilling in this cave, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's just been chilling in here. Probably not, but you know. You know. We're just gonna have to look everywhere. So we gotta discover the last straw, which is to discover the imp's name in the Twisted Woods. I mean, it does specify Twisted Woods. Not Deep Dark Forest. Is that even part of this, then? Is the, is the Twisted Woods part of this area? Or am I crazy? Hold on. Hold on. Twisted Woods. Okay, okay, okay. So, we know which zone to search for. Oh, my word. I was like, I don't know where to look for it. And it's right there. Twisted Woods. Check, check, check the names. Sorry, game dev. The game dev's probably like, I listed four people. Just like, this doesn't count as a fire potion? Oh, that's big sad. That's big sad. Oh, we don't have to go that way. Do you hear something? Oh, well, I thought it was going to pan to, like, something going on. I only heard you talking, Helios. Does that mean we're getting close to it? Whatever it is. Look at us, we're so cute, just chilling. Hello! Is it down here? This is where we met, uh, Zaire, right? Zaire? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm looking for a mushroom. Mushroom? No, I'm not. I passed a mushroom. Actually, I do kind of hear something. Is it this way? There's a card up there. Oh, there he is! Straw, a trifle she desires, yet not the gold that once inspired. This clever witch lady thinks she's wise, rejecting deals that I devise. She cannot fathom what's at stake. Her futile quest, a grand mistake. She'll never triumph in this game, for Marble Stillskin is my name. We're here. Oh, well, he said his name, so. Rumble Stillskin is his name. Rumble Stillskin. I am on the old games, Rumble Stillskin. Alright, and being able to fast travel back home, you can fast travel, you can make potions, and you can go. It is very, very convenient. Very, very convenient. In the Uh, we're going to the farm. I'm gonna go right to the white. Right to the wheat. Field. And where were you up here? What's up, fool? Your name is Rumble Stiltskin. Impossible. How'd you guess? Oh, you know, just a feeling. Well, a deal's a deal. Here's your straw. That should have been his voice. A deal's a deal. Here's your straw. Let me know if you want to make a deal. What's the deal? Well, I just make a deal. Alright, back to... Bobby Yaga. Back to Bobby Yagi. Look at that, though. We're so cute just flying around. 
What a great character design. We're having fun. I mean, seriously though, this is this has been a chill time. The music's chill. The art style is fun. You just get to fly around and just kind of chill. It's cool. Uh, let's refer and return back to Bobby Yaga's hood. And Helios, can, can you? Oh, I gotta ring the bell. Do you have all the ingredients? Why did why is Emily in a cage? Yes, they're all right here. Splendid. Now just give me a moment. Hey, like, come and get me out of here. Emily, what's going on? This hag threw me in a cage after I asked her for help. Now, now, you tried to trick me with your illusions. It serves you right. And here you are, Luna, your very own groom. Thank you. One more thing, if you don't mind. Yes, my dear. Would you please release my friend over there, Emily? Really? Helio. That troubled little liar. Yes, please. Ah, there goes my dinner. Well, young Luna, I'll release the girl if you do me one more task. What task is that? There's a very powerful potion that your grandmother is a specialist in brewing, but she charges quite a bit for it. If you would like to learn to brew it and make it for me, I am ever in need. I can do that. Good that this deceiver is free to go. She's lucky you will bring balance here. Like thanks. You're welcome. And we're still going. <laughs> this is a long demo. What is going on? I was not expecting a demo of this caliber. This is crazy. I feel like I'm just playing the whole game right now. Welcome home, my dear. I see you've earned your broom and even a familiar. Wonderful. A familiar? That would be me. I don't know if you've seen that familiar yet. <laughs> Granny, there was another request as well. Baba Yaga asked me to learn to make your most powerful potion. Oh, did she? I wonder what she has in mind for that. Well, the recipe is simple enough. You need to combine spider silk with thyme and a feather. Spider silk? That's the one. You should find spiders looking around in the deep dark forest. Useful for ingredients, but I wouldn't trust anything with more than two legs. Hey. Four. I don't trust anything with more than four legs. Do we have spider silk? There. No, we don't. Big sad. We were there in everything. But since we've already been there, it won't take us that long. Gather spoke, spider silk in the deep forest, combine spider silk, time, and a feather. So all we gotta do is run back to the deep dark forest, we'll go to the spider's den, and we'll see. I bet you, do I have to kill a spider, or do I need to... I wonder if that means that they can't see me if I'm chilling. Ouch. Yeah. Did I win? Hey, spider cell, let's go. Oh, let's teleport back. <laughs> Easy peasy. Let's go. Okay, crafty. So if you combine uh let's see, time. Where's the spider silk? Spider silk and a feta. You get the most powerful motion of all. A magic cleaner. Uh cleaning potion? Well, that's unexpected. It's my very own magical cleaner for vanquishing even the most stubborn stains and cobwebs. It works like magic because, well, it is. The locals use it for practically everything. Chimneys, floors, and crockery. Uh, just don't use it on your laundry. It seems to make clothing disappear. Shouldn't you teach me a recipe or for something more useful, like banishing demons, or creating vision in the dark, or calling down a storm of lightning? All in good time, my dear. I assure you, this is the potion Baba Yaga requested you to learn. Uh, no, we don't need to equip the new potion. Doorbell jingles. John Muffet. Ready, uh, I didn't know where else to go. Oh my, John, what's the matter? It's, it's my little girl, Mary. I can't find her anywhere. You know she loves playing with the little forest critters, so I've been searching the forest for hours, but... It's okay, John, we'll find it, although my old bones aren't up for try, try, try. How do you say that word? Tripesping? Tri, tri, tripezing? I feel like it's a circus term. When you get on the thingy, like... 
but I don't know how to pronounce that word. Anyway, through those words anymore, my Luna has proven herself quite capable. If anyone can find Mary, she can. Luna, dear, go find John's daughter in the deep dark world. Well, do you think that she's with Baba Yaga, just chilling, and that we can kill two birds with one stone? Just saying, I mean, I'm just saying, are you saying? I'm just saying. To the deep dark forest we go, back to Baba Yaga's. Baba Yaga, open the door. Let me open the door. What the? There we go. Is it so wrong for an old woman to wish for life without disturbance here in the woods? What? I'm trying to... Children aren't just as just as are plump these days, and candy houses are out of fashion now. Wait a minute, I'm confused. What happened to the, the other potion? Find Mary Muffet in the deep, dark forest. Are we just, like, curveballing the side quest here to find Mary Muffet? Finding little Mary Muffet in the deep dark forest. Um, what do we start at the beginning? Like, how far in would she be? Is the real question of the day. How far into the deep dark forest would she actually be able to go? Like, is she is she with the Robert Stillskin guy, or is she? How far do we go? How far does this demo go? That's my question. I don't see her down here. Like, we see stuff up here, but she's not down there. Because I don't know, I don't think that this game is uh, still in, like, introductory phases, but it kind of is feely. I don't know how to put it into words. It's just kind of like... I don't know, we've played a good amount, like, we've learned about potion making, we've learned about exploring the map, we have a broom to fly around, and we have Helios, so it's just kind of like, when, when does, eh. well, at least I killed him, um, but, so, you know, it's like, when, when does the, uh, oh, that hurts me too, here, I'll drink a potion, so, the question is, like, when, when do we go from, like, you've played the demo to, you're, you're just playing the main game now, because I don't want to accidentally play too much. But I also don't want to play here. I don't want to sit here and play for like two hours, you know? That's a lot of playtime. That's a lot of playtime. And I assume Helios is going to be like, do you hear Mary Muffet? Curds and way. Oh, we left the Deep Dark Forest. So we started at Bobby Yaga's hut and we traveled backwards and we didn't get anything. So I guess we're going to go to Zone 4? The House of Sticks. I mean, maybe she was snatched up by a. Maybe she's in the spider's den. You know, maybe we gotta go to the spider's den to save her. Uh, we have three explosive potions, so I'd rather save them, in all honesty. We'll find out. What's this? It's pink. What's this stool doing in the woods? Is that Mary's? It's a tuft, specifically, and I have a feeling you're right. Let's check ahead. Okay, well, I was on the right track. I was on the right track, you see. Eh. I don't think she would have gone this way. Spiders be eat, eat, eat. Well, how am I supposed to get back? You bad spiders. All of you. The spiderlings are kind of funny. Oh, there's so many of them. Never mind, they're not funny anymore. Hey! Excuse me. Uh, yep. We'll go in here. Yate Veo. A tree with drooping tendrils and big fleshy leaves. It wraps unwary travelers in its leaves and sucks. A tasty snack. I mean, if I was a tree, I would want tasty snacks too. 
I get. Just kidding, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, so we passed her her little stool, right? Her stool was down here, so I don't think she would be on this side of that thing. I feel like they would keep going this way. Excuse me. Don't tell me I gotta defeat the Silk Weaver to find her. I feel like we gotta go this way. Um, can he still see me in here? I think he can. I can't get past these sticky webs. Maybe that magical clear potion is more useful than I thought. Oh, I have to use that potion? Well, what the deuce? Why didn't you say so? Oh, hello. That's tricky. I'm, tr I'm trying to, like... Can I, like, click this and drag it down slowly? Mm, I can't. So, I don't have the potion on me. That's a bit of a problem. That's why we couldn't take it to Baba Yaga, because I didn't, you know, we're not supposed to give it to her. Mm. Well, I feel silly. Okay, but I know where we're going, and I'm pretty sure there was a potion... Was there a potion thing around here? Uh-oh. I tried myself. I tried my cereal. At least we have a good amount of health. Do I want to go back down that way, or do I want to try to find a potion stand? Biscuits, dude. They're in back again. A Witch's Tale by J. Jobs. Come on, just give me, like, a potion stand somewhere, you know? Give me a potion stand. Like, I'm not saying that, like, the game dev needs to put potion spots everywhere or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just, you know, I didn't think we had to have it right away, so... Oh, is this What's-His-Face's place? No, this is the werewolf. Was there a potion thing down here? Oh, uh, there actually might be one in here. There might be one in here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so where's the potion cleaner? It's in here. Magical cleaner. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And that's the minor push button. Okay. So we've equipped it. And honestly, I mean, we're here. Do I want more, like, explosion potions for if there's a fight? What's it? Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah. Let's just make, like, another 15. We have the resources for it. And then, what if we did, like, all water crystals? Furiously magical water. Sure. Sure thing, dude. We'll take it. Alright, so we have the magic cleaner. We have a lot of explosivo potions. Let's do this. But yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think about this demo. I know it's probably like, you guys aren't used to this long of content on the channel, but I just, you know, like I said, I wanted to mix it up. I wanted to just switch things up a little bit. You guys get to see a longer video, and you know, it's like, it's a one-off. It's a demo. It's a one-off. So, you guys don't have to, like, watch the entire thing. You can get the gist of the game and then go play it for yourselves. Or, you know, you can play alongside, you know, if you don't know what's going down. Or, you know, you can play at your own pace. You can play it, then watch me, and then comment on how slow it took me or how dumb I was to not put the cleaner potion or something like that. I don't know. Do what you want. Do what you want. All right, here we go. I can't get past these sticky webs. Maybe the magical cleaner potion is more useful than I thought. Hello. Let's go, bubbles. All right, Mary Muffet. I have a bad feeling about this place, Luna. You should make sure you've got all those potions you carry ready for a fight. To fight whatever's kidnapped Mary. I'm ready. Yeah, this is a big boss room. Ugh. Oh no. Is that Mary? You threaten the prudent to morsel. Is that spider wearing a dress? We have more pressing matters at the moment, Luna. This forest is ours. You're not welcome here. Okay. I mean, I'm ready to go. 
But all I have to do, I don't want to waste all my potions. Did something just fly from the small spider to the big one? It must have a magical connection. What does that mean? Can I do that too? Can I apply to it? Oh, where did Okay, well, this is gonna. Oh, no. If you move around a lot, I'm not gonna be able to hit you. Okay. I wonder if I could throw these up here. And. Oh, hello, I'm stuck. I am actually stuck. Uh, help. 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 I'm gonna die. Swerve. Okay, okay. I've recovered. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, what if I use. <laughs> a water potion. I do have that furious water potion, which we just made, so. We've done a little bit of damage, but yeah, I don't have. I don't know if I have enough potions for this. Helios, attack! Okay, what happens when they disconnect, like, when the spider connects to the other one? What's the deal with that? Yeah, sit on the poison. It's Mary! Broodmother? What have you done, foul creature? You have turned the kind girl against us and slaughtered our kin. You will pay for these actions. Oh, that's, that's the Broodmother down here now. Okay. Maybe it's more manageable. It takes damage from its own poison, that's huge. Yeah, come over here. Sit on your poison. You're almost gone. See ya. She was supposed to protect us. The darkness gone! I don't know why the spider stole grandma. Protect them. Who was Mary? Strange way to go about it. Let's get her home. My sweet girl. Daddy. That wasn't it. Daddy. Thank you so much, Luna. We're in your debt. Please let us know if you are ever in need of anything. Mr. Muffet screws up his daughter in his massive arms and whisks her back home. The rest. Wonderfully done, my dear. Now Grandma's morphing to Baba Yaga. So many voices. But I do it for you guys. I do it for you guys. She had turned into a spider. My, using such a powerful spell on a young girl is quite a strange behavior for spiders. Something's fishy, not in a good way. Let's leave the worrying for later. Why don't you take some time to experiment with your ingredients and explore the town? Dear Potion Masters, you have reached the end of the Potions A Curious Tale demo. Thank you so much for taking the time to play our game. There is much more waiting for you in the full game, including eight biomes, temples, dungeons, a bestiary, devious puzzles, and more. Please stay tuned as we finalize our development. We would greatly appreciate your input to improve our title. If you would like to share your thoughts and feedback, please email Renee at stumblingcat.com or contact us through Kickstarter, Discord, or one of our, our other communities. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for your time and support. Thank you, Renee and the Stumbling Cat team. So, that was about an hour and a half demo. Uh, I'm going to see what happens if I hit A, B, start. Okay, so I, I literally cannot leave this screen. So, let me set my controller down over there on a the bed because I don't need it no more. So that was the entirety of the demo. And actually, you know, let me try something real quick. Can I do this? Yeah, I can do this. So that was the entirety of Potions A Curious Tale demo. I hope you guys sincerely enjoyed. Um, excuse me, Coke Zero Burt. Excuse me. Anyway, so I hope you guys sincerely enjoyed. Uh, I had fun. I had fun playing it. It's it's always an interesting... Something new, right? Something new is always fun to enjoy. Something new is always... Just, you know, it's, it's a vibe. Just playing something new. Just exploring something for a little bit. Seeing if you like it. You know, I always feel like you gotta give a game... Like, at least an hour of game time... To decide whether or not you truly enjoy it... And would want to keep playing it. Um, and that, that was it for me. An hour and a half demo is a good amount of a demo. And if the demo is an hour and a half, then I can only imagine how big the final game will be. Um, it may not be like 
a crazy long game like Assassin's Creed that takes 72 hours to beat or some, something crazy like that. But, you know, for a game, like I said at the beginning of the video, this game, I saw the, um, it's probably, you know, Renee or the Stumbling Cat team, one of their representatives. Somebody, you know, on Instagram was talking about how they were working on this game and had been working on it for the past, like, nine years by themselves. And it's just kind of like, from the from the game uh, from the perspective of someone who plays games, I can't even begin to imagine what it's like to make a game. So the fact that the people on uh, the people, you know, who have been working on this game, the fact that they've done it for nine years and not thrown in the towel and have produced a game with an hour and a half demo is very very impressive to me. And I think that you know this this did deserve. Um, at least some kind of some kind of publicity, and I know we're not the biggest channel over here at J Chubs, but you know, it, it, it's something. I like to support smaller creators, uh, first time indie developers. You know, I do like to support um, people who are more passionate about the project rather than thinking about how much money they can get out of it. They just want to make something that they're proud of, and I think that this game embodies that kind of concept. So. I'm glad I did this demo. I hope you guys are also glad. I hope you found it enjoyable. Let me know what you think about this long-form content. And if you want to see more of this game, I could add it to our list for projects to work on this year. So with that being said, again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, I believe, and a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.